Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Dallas Aka Infernus, and welcome back to another episode of The Ticket Realm. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own Minecraft server with an easy website. It's really easy to make a Minecraft server. So, this is going to be for the latest version of Minecraft called Minecraft 1.1.1. I believe that's what it's called. But, guys, if you didn't expect to pay for anything with a fully functioning Minecraft server, then unfortunately, you're completely in the wrong because it doesn't work like that. But, anyways, to get started, you're gonna go to Google because Google is very fantastic. Well, first I'm gonna start out with my desktop because I don't have Google open yet. It should be the first one here. I don't know what the hell happened. Uh, <laughs> okay, that was odd. And you just click it right here. So this is a very handy website because it's quite easy to uh, to use. Um, and generally making a server is uh, is much easier to do with just this website rather than just doing the whole thing from Minecraft.net, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, what you have to do is first of all sign up. It's really easy. Just make your email account and whatnot. So uh, and then you just log in with that email. There you go. It says welcome back back the ticket realm and get ready to make your own minecraft server it's gonna be lit let's make a bomb minecraft server i'm gonna show you how to do it the first thing you're gonna need to do i don't know what these credits are i just figured that out um but what what you should do is you should go to your servers you don't have one yet what you're gonna want to do is just go to my servers and then create another one and then choose which one you want you know you could choose you could choose in between minecraft or minecraft the pocket edition but i would recommend going with minecraft here's where it all goes down so what you're gonna want to do is go to the first place just follow the instructions it's really it's really not that hard all right you just go here and then uh you type in whatever you want your email or thing whatever this is freak the server you want to type in whatever uh you want to be the host name and then once you have your free selected server ready uh you just scroll down to the instructions right here uh, mine are blanked out because i already have a free server running and i can only have one at a time so um, basically just click whatever you want. If you want it to be vanilla, then that's basically a normal Minecraft version of a server, then just click that. And then there's a little, uh, option right here, V1.11.2. Uh, choose that, it's the latest version. Select memory. The only option is 0.5 gigabytes on the free version, but you can do up to 8 gigabytes, which is pretty much infinite amount of people on the paid version. I'm not entirely sure how much paid version costs, but it's probably hella money, so, uh, if you're just starting out, just don't do that, because if you're going to be playing with two people or whatever, um, then definitely don't do that. So, um, select cycle hourly. Do you want an hourly or monthly server? Monthly means, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm assuming it's better since it's part of the paid version. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely good at this. Uh, features, you get to have 12 players on the free version and unlimited there. Unlimited plugins, unlimited this. Pretty much unlimited everything, all right? That's how the full version works. All of this beautiful stuff you get with just, I'm not sure, maybe like 10 bucks a month or something like that. And you can just click the control panel, and that's where it's all going to go down. Or you can just click on the server page itself, and that's going to bring you here. Um, I haven't edited any of this, so it's going to say offline because it's not running currently. <clears throat> but uh, you should just go to the control panel because that's where you're going to make all the stuff happen. This is where all the magic begins, so... Um, you don't need to be some sort of hacker or freaking code artist or whatever you call them. All you have to do is just follow these simple items in order to make your server work. Configuration, game mode, survival. You can change that to creative. Level name, world, you can change that to whatever you want once it's set up. You have to first actually get a world in there, but I'm going to show you. Jar file, that's already going to be there. Difficulty, easy, max players, uh, anything below 12. PvP, enabled, online mode, enabled. Spawn animals, yes. Spawn monsters, yes. Go into your file manager because this is where you're going to want to upload your actual world. And as you can see, it generated an actual server file here. To begin with uploading your world, simply go into your file manager. And to start, I would go into percent app data um, and then go into your saves and select whatever the freak world you want to use as your server. But I personally would want to use a server world that is specifically set up for a server rather than just some random one. But you could just choose it. We'll just do this one because why not? Add to house2.rar. There you go. And then drag that in there. And uh, once you have the actual zip file ready, you just go back into the Minecraft server. You press uh, new folder or no, sorry, upload file and uh, choose it from your desktop. Once it's all ready, you should have it right here in your files folder. Just uh, click on it right here and then go to this place right where my hand is. You press unzip and uh, once you've done that, just go back to the main page right here in my server and then scroll down uh, all the way down until you see here. You just want to rename the actual thing exactly to the world that you're trying to do. So here would be the world. That's what I'm trying to do. And then just press save and restart. 
and then once it has successfully restarted it should refresh the page why is it taking 16 minutes to record this it's really really not that hard and then once you have um your server and everything that i told you to do uh all completed and ready um what you do now is just uh simply launch minecraft and then go into multiplayer and then you could either do direct connect or just add server but i recommend adding a server as you can see it worked right here and then all you would have to do is just in the server address copy and paste the ip address that it gave you in your thing and then press done let it load and then here you go all you gotta do is press play and it'll say connecting to server well this is my minecraft server it's really innovative i mean look at it and uh you have your actual freaking server going on you got people going and you type in the ip it will work so thank you so much for watching i hope this tutorial did help you out if it did make sure you go ahead and leave one of those big blue hand things because that really helps my channel out and uh as always i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye